okay so I have put the upper plate and ESCs are installed at the moment I just connected the blue cable alright so only the blue cable on all the ESCs is connected so you already provided these four JST, JST connectors going to a Dean's connector okay so I inserted the Dean's connector I mean I left the Dean connector down there so it will connect to the battery and all the other four GST connectors are connected to ESCs so they can power the ESCs now the most important point here you must remember to do it if you don't do it you will have that great mysterious smoke fire and nice smell coming out what you need to do is take three of the ESCs connectors okay and take the red cable out okay this is the center one take the red cable out of each of these three connectors why because we need to supply FY91Q and GPS and compass only one power source okay we need to give them only one power source so any of the ESCs you can pick and leave the red connector on okay so let me focus this here so any only one ESC should have this red connector on then rest of the three ESCs make sure you take their red cables out okay now you can see three of the ESCs I have taken this red connector off all right here and here so three of the ESCs red connector is off now I will highly recommend once again that you put some heat shrink tube on these three connectors or wrap them with some tape so that they don't cause short circuit okay and only one ESC is going to supply power to the rest of these uh, to all of the power equipment in case you want to use your own UBC unit to supply the separate power to your board uh, FY91Q GPS or compass you need to remove the fourth ESC red cable as well okay but for now we are going to try to power the FY91Q and the other stuff using one ESC only okay so uh, let us put the tape on these naked wires or heat shrink tube and let us continue okay here we are so far for today's work uh, before we conclude today's work we will say if your quadcopter is facing forward okay so this is like you can see a all right I haven't installed the FY91Q GPS and campus uh, but now the quadcopter is facing front okay so your right is counterclockwise okay this one is rotating counterclockwise that is number one this is number two rotating clockwise this is number three counterclockwise this is number four clockwise so once again if you're looking at the quadcopter it's uh, this this is your front side diagonally this one is your counterclockwise and this one is your clockwise spinning off the propellers all right so far so good um, I'm gonna call it a day and tomorrow I still have to consult uh, Feiyu Tech on how to make connections for FY90Q and GPS and Compass and how to configure them and then we will give it the very first flight so far this quad is looking really beautiful and it's really I mean superb quality that I can see here at the moment how it is gonna behave that's what we're going to see after we have made final connections